Yo, welcome back guys. Once again, we're in front of the Fraley Lake. I came here for some for the Cadillac. I'll show you guys in a second. But I looked and I noticed that mount is not a factory mount. Notice that mount is not a factory mount. This front one isn't a factory mount, nor is the rear one. It actually has aftermarket um, motor mounts on it. And if I'm not mistaken, the H22 and F23s share the same mounts. I know the one on the chassis to the block is different. But if I can get that bracket to work on my chassis, I don't see why, because I believe the factory ones on that look similar to it, just the T-bracket off of it's different, like the post mount. So if those same ones fit, I'll buy those for the cord. And I don't have to use the solid ones I make, because these are like a poly insert. So don't get all that vibration and still hold some power down. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to show you guys what we came here for for the Cadillac. But unfortunately, it's not going to work. All right, guys, so this is what I was going to get for the Cadillac. This car had all four of these wheels on it. They all look good. But when I went to that backside over there, I noticed that the tires melted and burnt because obviously you can see this car caught on fire. So that's a no-go. I was gonna pick these up. They were selling to me for 250 bucks. They have decent tires on them and they're decent looking wheels. They're 22s. I was gonna throw these on a the caddy and ride with these and try and sell these wheels until I get something else for the Cadillac. You know, try and make some money to put back in the channel and get wheels for the Cadillac and what it paid for itself. But unfortunately, that one wheel's messed up. So that's not gonna work. But I'm gonna keep walking around, see what else I can find. See if I can find anything for the Accord or the Cadillac, because I really wanna get wheels on it. But we'll see. I'll let you guys know what's up. All right guys, so <clears throat> this is like the second or third ATS I found. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find the turbo one, because the turbo stuff will bolt right onto my engine, since the heads are the same from the two liters. But I can't find one. But it did have something I needed. It had the cap for the washer reservoir. So I grabbed that. And then I'm just going to keep going around them. See what I can find. No material. This one is all gutted out. Completely stripped out. Yep. I'm going to keep on going. See what I can find. Hey, this one has a nice chrome tip. Mine didn't have that. Mine just like that. But it's all good. I'm going to keep looking around. See if I can find parts for the caddy too. And this was the other one that I found. So... It's got two good back tires, so I don't know. I might have to pick those up if they give me a good deal because my back tires are balls for, you know, doing things in the caddy I shouldn't be doing. But it's all gravy, baby. Talk to him about those two. Yo, welcome back. So I was working on this. Yeah, I put a distributor and everything in this and took it for a ride. Pretty quick little Mustang. Y'all know me. I'm a bow tie guy. I'm a Chevy guy. What's on my screen? Y'all get my screen dirty. Y'all got to stop eating and throwing shit on my camera. I mean... That's not cool, y'all. But he has another Mustang. It's a convertible. And you know me, I'm a sucker for verts. So I'm gonna show you that car, and I might be picking that up. And we'll do some stuff to it. Maybe make it like a drift car or something. I don't know. Something just to shred tires in or whatever. But I'm gonna go show you that car and we'll talk about what might happen. All right, guys, so this is the convertible one that I was talking about that he has. Uh, the car runs and everything. It's just been sitting for a little bit. As you can see, it's got a flat. It's got some rust on it, like right there. This is the worst of the car. But and it's got some right here. So, <clears throat> interior is pretty decent, you know. I don't know. I'm not a big Ford guy. You guys know this. You know, he worked out a really good deal with me. You know, I do all the work and maintenance on his car. It's actually my boss's car. And he said that if I give him a few bucks for it and do some work on his cars, he'll give me this. So... It's got a rebuilt 302 in it. So this one's a 91, I believe. The other one that I showed you was an 87, but this has got the HO as well in it. So it's an automatic car. It's got all new gaskets, as you can see right there. This engine has been rebuilt. I think he said it has about 8,000 miles on it. The problem with this car is it doesn't go into second gear. I have no clue what's wrong with it. He doesn't know. It just happened out of the blue and he just parked it and gave up on it because he has more than one Mustang. It's got this one, that one, which this one's nice. I like that one. And then that one over there, and then the one I showed you. So he's got a couple cars. He also has that Nova that you guys see. So I don't know, something I was thinking about. Let me know down in the comments. You guys think I should pick this up? Maybe make it a flip car, fix it and sell it. Throw money back into the channel. Or 
fix it, run it down the track a little bit, make it a drift car, whatever. You know, just let me know down in the comments what you guys think on that. Step back to the shop. We got some work to do on some stuff. All right, guys, so this is another one of his cars. Um, it's got a misfire. When the map sensor's on, it doesn't want to rev up right. So he bought a new one. Still does the same thing. So he just got another one right now. We're just going to clean up a little bit. We're going to try that in here, see what that does. A little update on the Nova. I know I haven't really recorded much on this, but it's pretty much sanded down and undercoating the whole bottom of the car. All back here has been coated, as you can see. So, yeah, I do some rust work right here, a little bit here, you know, a couple of spots around. But <laughs> see, the whole bottom is getting coated. It's coming up really nice. It's gonna look really good when it's done. That's why she have to get painted. Go ahead and figure out what's going on with this truck. It's gonna be like a vlog style today, guys. I'm gonna try it out, see how it goes. Let me know down in the comment if you guys like it. Smash this like button, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna make moves on this channel. Push out as much as we can. Sorry I haven't been uploading. It's not that I'm not uploading. I've been making videos, but my laptop is acting up. So while I'm trying to upload or save my edit, it like freezes and resets my computer and everything. So I'm gonna take my laptop probably later today to get checked out, see what's going on with that. If I gotta buy another one, then I'm gonna have to get a new one. But stop talking, let's get to work. All right guys, so we're gonna try and fix this damage on the front bumper. When I say try fix, we're gonna try. he's gonna fix it because he knows what he's doing. Should I clean the front bumper or is it fine like that? Not until we sand it down first. All right. <clears throat> So, as you guys know, I told you I was in an accident in the Cadillac a little after I got the car. So, that's the result of it, and he says he knows how to fix that. So, we're going to fix that. You got to fix this, man. What a nice paint mixture. See, we're gonna have to come back to get that, it's too deep. Yeah, see, that means it's drying too much. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, as you guys can see in the time lapse, he's going ham on this thing. I don't know what the heck he's doing, I don't know how to do what he's doing. <laughs> But I bet this whole front bumper is going to come out a hundred times better than the Accord is going to come out because I'm doing the Accord and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But it'll look good. So, and this that whip, but we got to look before, this thing look fresh. Yeah. So, um, I'll keep updating and time lapsing. As things go, just that air compressor takes so long to build up, so it takes a while. We'll get her done. Well, he'll get it done, but so I'll be the I'll be the man with the camera. <laughs> that part's almost done. Yep. So, unfortunately, it's after five and it's Saturday, so there's no place open to go get the paint for it, or I would try and paint the bumper tonight. At least it'll be fixed, and all I gotta do is get paint and spray it. Sand it, look for the imperfection, and you hit it with the, uh, the red light you got. So, 
it's all primed out. So still need to do um, some sanding on the primer. It's a, it's a fillable sandable primer, but it looks great. 100 times better than what it was. And seeing this, I think what I'm gonna do is pretty much where that tape line's at, <clears throat> I'm gonna um, do black. So I have the blackout section here and I'm blacking out the grills and everything on it. I think that would look pretty dope. I know the ATSVs come kind of like that and I'll look to find an ATSV hood, but I don't have a thousand dollars for a hood, but I will one day. I mean, I'm stuck with this car for four years. I gotta pay it off before anything. So I might as well do some little things to it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think if I should do the blackout right here and the grills. But that looks dope as hell. I'm happy as hell with that. This just made a shitty day a good day. Not dry enough. All right, guys. So we're gonna let this dry up, and while that's drying, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and try and clean up these headlights because, as you can see, they're horrible. I don't know who tried to clean them before or what they did before, but they're disgusting. So I'm going to try and clean those up real quick, and hopefully I can make them look better. Hopefully this dries enough where we can sand this down. Not then We'll pick this video back up tomorrow, finish sanding all this, do whatever else we got to do here, and then go ahead and paint it. Alright guys, so here's this one. You can see all that in there. Alright. still not perfect I mean it looks a lot better in person than it does on camera to be honest but all that yellow and stuff as you can see like all in here see it's like really hard to see through this and this one you can see perfectly through it we really got rid of the yellow and all the I guess they look like a clear coat on the other one you still can see the lining on these <clears throat> but I'm gonna get new lights for it anyways but that's a lot better I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna try and see if that's dry enough. So everything's taped up as you can see. It's all primed. I'm about to paint the silver down for this bumper. And then we'll go from there. There? No. Paper. 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 So we'll get on the tires. Oh neat. Yeah, but as you can see the whole where the dent was and all that is clean, good, and looks fresh. So lay down this paint. Hopefully it works good. I'm gonna go hold that paper firm so you can spray and I'll catch up when this is done. We're back. I'm gonna finish up this. As you guys saw, we painted the silver. We still gotta do another coat on this. <clears throat> I'm waiting for another can to come in. They ordered one, but it came in and it was damaged. So we ordered another one, so that should be in tomorrow. Well, you guys get the general picture. This would be silver still. And what we're doing is we're taping that off. And I want to do this whole inside part from this line over where it's all primed, this lower grill, and this all blacked out. So I'm going to mask that up. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pull the tape off of this. So we can go ahead and paint that black too. And we'll go from there. You yeah, know? So that's how it's gonna be done. Little couple little things imperfections that happened, but the paint underneath wasn't really cured all the way. It's been cold lately. But <clears throat> we pulled the tape off a little bit here. And this strip here. But it's all good because we we're, we're gonna do another coat on that anyways. Just waiting for the another can to come in. So we'll wait a couple days for this to dry. Then we'll come back, tape it all up again, hit that. <clears throat> touch that up and everything 
then we'll throw clear over it all so it all stays on there and doesn't come off i'm happy with it so i got the line coming down from here all the way up like out the grill this bottom grill looks good and as you guys can see you can see the reflection in it so i'm all right with that